be the plan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the plan, that's what they call me Hello girls, how are you? I hope you are fine. This is Chris from Happy Skins. This is my first video in English, so please bear with me. Don't laugh at me um, <laughs> at my accent. Uh, many people asked me to make some video in English. I didn't try it before because my English is not very good, but I think it's a good challenge to make video in English so uh, many people can see my, my recipe I have on my, on my channel. Uh, so voila and uh, welcome to this channel is this is the first time you you see me okay this is a place to to share many receipts uh, about skin lightening uh, principally <laughs> generally and also exfoliating receipts and 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 so uh, so today we're going to do a, a gel an exfoliating gel with um, with urea and aloe vera. So aloe vera is well known. So I don't uh, I don't talk I will don't talk um, too much about this ingredient. But urea is a very good in ingredient, underestimated and underused. Yet it is better exfoliating agent than the many agents exfoli uh, of ex uh, exfoliation like lactic acid. Or glycolic acid it doesn't irritate your skin uh, it works better than lactic acid really so uh, this shell will, will look like this when when it's done you know you see this is a very nice texture so this is good for people who don't like uh, cream or lotion or if you want to try some something else um, it is good also because uh, it will not irritate your skin at all and it works it is very very effective so you should give it a try okay so to do this uh, this recipe we're going to need several ingredients okay so first we're going to need urea of course this is the main ingredient of this recipe it looks like this you can find it on Amazon okay we're going to need also um not also but as well <laughs> we're going to need aloe vera uh, aloe vera gel we're going to need uh, carrageenan powder this is a this is a powder that we use to make the gel like texture so this is very important is this recipe you need it absolutely okay and um, also we we'll, we will need some water have um, there needs it water you can use also uh, also uh, as well <laughs> as a big problem with as well and also you can use distilled water don't use tap water please just distilled water or there needs it water we're going to need DMSO. DMSO is a powerful uh, penetration enhancer. Without a penetration enhancer, uh, your, when you do your receipt, the, the gel will, will sit on your skin without penetrating the skin. So we will need a penetration enhancer so the, um, the gel can penetrate in your epiderm and produce uh, all its effects. And finally, the last ingredient, we will need some preservative. Anytime you make a receipt with, a, with content, that contain water, you need a preservative so your receipt doesn't turn bad over weeks. Okay, so that said, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make your, your gel, your aspirating gel with uh, urea and aloe vera. Okay, so we are going to start with the recipe. I have all my ingredients, all six of them. I've already weighed my ingredients to save time, but don't worry, you have all the quantities and dosage in the description part of the video. So you just click on the description part and you will get all you need to make your, your recipe. The first thing we're going to do is to put the aloe vera aside. Okay, so I have the MSO, the urea, the preservative, the carrageenan powder. 
why I put the aloe vera aside because we are going to use it only at the end of the recipes when all is over. Okay, then while going to mix all the ingredients together, except the preservative, I'm going to mix them together and I'm going to eat it over a double boiler. I'm going to make a quantity of 250 grams, but you can do more or less depending on your own taste. So I have my water, I add the DMSO. In the water, I add the urea powder. The urea dissolves very well in liquids, creams, and lotions. I stir a little, and then I'm going to heat the boil over a double boiler. And then the urea will be completely dissolved. I'm going to add the carginan powder. So here I have my pan with some hot water. I add my boil containing the water, the urea and the DMSO. And I stir until the urea is completely dissolved. It doesn't take too much time. Just one or two minutes. I stir, I stir. I stir. And then it is completely dissolved. So now I add my Karajinian powder. And I keep stirring. I stir. So the carginan powder has to be added in the mix while the mix is still hot because that's the way it's work. it, it works. And then when going to complete the dissolution of the heat because as you can see there are some lumps. So I'm going to show you how to make the mix very very even. So here I have my mix. As you can see, there are still some lumps from the Karajinian powder. You need to absolutely dissolve it so the gel can be even. So I'm going to use a hand blender to dissolve it. So you see, I have my hand blender. I'm going to use it. You see, it becomes even. So I keep mixing. And now I'm going to add the preservative. I put some drops, few drops. Very important to add a preservative because it is a water-based receipt. And I mix again. Et voilà. As you can see, the gel is very even and I'm going to let it rest so the gel can be very good to use and after I'm going to use the aloe vera gel. So see you in one hour. After one hour, as you can see, the gel is very even and smooth. And now I'm going to add the aloe vera gel. This is the final step of the recipe. I'm going to mix both gels together. I stir, I stir. Et puis voilà.
you have an exfoliating gel with urea and aloe vera. So you can apply this gel on your skin. So as you can see, the gel is very thick because I used lots of Caragian powder. So it can be sticky, too sticky for some people or too thick. So if you want, you can use less Caragian powder so the texture will be lighter. So as you can see, you can apply it on your skin like that. Voilà, voilà. So that was all. This was the receipt of the exfoliating gel. Uh, also, if you are into a skin lightening regimen, you can add your lightening serum or your lightening gel in this gel. Okay, it will blend perfectly and it will work very, very well. So you will have an exfoliating and lightening gel. And that's it, it's over. <laughs> you, you should keep your receipt into a bottle of the heat and of the light. Okay, that was all for the receipt. Thank you for watching. So if you use the receipt, please share your result under the video with us. Okay, thank you again. Have a nice day and see you soon for the next video. Bye bye. If you like it, this video, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe. You can also find my product line Skin Repair Plus designed to help with end and fit hyper pigmentation on sale on my eBay store. It will give you the best ends and fits of your life. Bye-bye.